What's going on, everybody? It is Wild Willie, and today we are out here on Bell the Boys. We're taking out our 340. We recently just purchased it from our store, so this is going to be our first hunt with our 340, along with the 223 AR assault rifle, just in case we find any roe deer, red fox, and then we got our 340 Weatherby Magnum for our red deer which is going to be our main priority of this hunt so we spawned in at the very south no north north lodge and we're probably just going to be working our way making my way downtown walking fast down the river side looking for some red deer so haven't posted in a little while little story behind that I was actually up north camping for four days and haven't quite figured out the whole auto uploads or upload and publish on a recent date or whatever so bear with me we're getting caught back up and let's go ahead and take a minute to take a look at this beautiful 340 Weatherby Magnum beautiful hardwood stock I, I I haven't shot it yet I'm stoked so let's go ahead and find ourselves our first red deer to go ahead and take down with our 340. Could be a rough hunt, level zero weapon level. So we're just gonna work our way down the river edge, trying to get this out there, explain to you guys where I've been, what's been going on, and that's basically it. Been camping, not enough time in the day. I go back to work tomorrow, and then it's back to playing on Sundays with viewers, and you know, just hanging out. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get on our first animal. We'll see you guys when we find one. All right, we found our first red stag and just a baby one. Started to rain, so visibility is getting kind of hard. So probably gonna go ahead and try to take about a 90 meter shot. So let's go ahead and take our first shot with the 340 Weatherby. And let's see how much damage we can do. Oh, that was awesome. This gun sounds amazing. Beautiful reload animation. Pop bolt one out of the chamber and drop another one in. That was awesome. Let's go ahead, run over here and pick up our first red stag and probably wait out this rain just because it does make visibility pretty hard on this map. So let's make our way over to our stag real quick. Ooh. So he called as soon as we left the lodge, right out of spawn distance, so this is a good one to pick up real quick. So here he is, real young red stag, and holy cow, shoulder blade, double lung, liver, stomach, and intestines. We absolutely destroyed this red deer with that 340. That is awesome. First kill with the 340 right there, and I'm glad it was on a large animal like a red deer. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find another one. All right, we got this uh, brown bear actually coming right towards us. I was going to let her walk on by, but she keeps on coming up this way. Uh, I She should be right on the other side of that little hill right there, down by that water edge. She literally just disappeared. We haven't ran in across any more red stags yet. But let's glass out this area real quick. Ah, there's a red stag way out there. He looks like a pretty decent sized red stag, too. Can't quite get the spotting. Come on. Give me the spotting. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. We got that bear looking right at us. So we might... Let's try to take a nice far shot. Maybe we can get both. Drop the stag. Oh, we just missed the brown bear. Down goes that brown bear right there. So we ended up getting both of those. I believe that red stag went right down. That brown bear dropped like a sack of taters. I believe we dropped this other one like a sack of taters too. Yep, that, our red stag's down over there, and he looks like a real decent red stag. So let's go ahead and run over here and pick up this brown bear, and we'll make our way over to that red stag. Alright, here's our female brown bear. Looks like we got her in the buttocks. 
But we got intestine, stomach, left lung, and liver. This 370 is just punching holes through them. Why didn't I get this gun sooner for large animals? So let's go ahead and make our way over to our, our stag that's down over there. And that's just another, another pro tip from Wild Willie. Always check the surroundings before shooting a gun. Because if I would have just shot that bear, I never would have thought about seeing this big stag over here. So let's go ahead and make our way over there. It looks like a real solid stag. I'm hoping for a trophy. So I believe this is our red stag that was roaming and we're stuck in too deep of water, but I'm hoping for a trophy. I'm hoping for a wall hanger. And this might just be our first wall hanger of the hunt. So let's go ahead and make our way over there and see what he scores. Look at that, there goes more. Looks like a couple females. Yep, a couple females took off. Wanted to look at them, make sure there weren't any kind of rares. But here's our stag. Wow, looks like a pretty solid stag. So let's see what he scores. So we got neck and shoulder blade in 273.9. Holy cow, this is my new personal best red stag. This thing is an absolute giant. Let's go ahead and get a nice trophy shot with him. All right, I like that trophy shot. That's a pretty cool trophy shot with him sticking his head way out and us sitting in between his horns like that. So let's go ahead, continue on with our hunt after we just absolutely just crushed this monster red stag. Let's see if we can't find any, any more stags and go ahead and just work our way down our river and see if we can get down some bears. I mean, we still need a trophy brown bear. Maybe we'll get them on this hunt as well. So let's go ahead. Uh, are we frozen? Alrighty. No prompt to uh, add him to the trophy lodge. So we'll have to go back and make sure we add him in our hunt history. But anyways, 273 is down trophy shot is down all we gotta do is mount it so let's continue on with the hunt all right so come across another brown bear and it's kind of glitching out on this hill up here so we're gonna get a spotting on this one if he quits dancing ever all right i guess it's not gonna allow us to get the spotting but we do have another Red, yeah, red deer coming in right there. Another female coming in. So we perched up on this rock right here, gave out some calls. I'm not sure what's going on with my game. I got that loading icon up on the top screen, and it is absolutely driving me nuts. So, all right, we're not going to be able to get the spotting on this brown bear, but let's go ahead and take out this brown bear, even though we don't quite know what it is. Brown bear's down. Oh, we hit her. She's down right there. We got her right in the bung hole, guys. We got her right in the bung hole. Two more animals down, just like that. I believe that bear probably slid down the hill. Somewhere's over there. So let's go ahead and run over here and pick up our cow red stag real quick and... Then we'll go over and see what kind of surprise we got on that brown bear. I believe that brown bear dropped like a sack of taters. I think we hit this one twice, but definitely got her in the bunghole and she went down. Let's go harvest her. So we ended up getting a body shot. I'm not wondering where we got her. But that bunghole shot sure did mess this one up. Intestine, stomach, liver, right lung, neck, and bone three. Should say neck bone. Yep, I only seen bone three. So she's down, punching another tag, and let's go and grab our brown bear and punch our next. All right, here's our brown bear. We just walked right by him. It's another female. We got intestine, stomach, liver, and a heart shot. Beautiful shot. 135.7 meters, and this one scores 20.3, so about the same size as our last female bear. So let's go ahead, continue down the river, and see what else the river awaits for us to harvest, to shoot. 
to get with the 340 weather be oh and right there's another red deer we're over here goofing off and there's another red deer right here as soon as it enters render distance another young female so let's kind of speed up our pace shouldn't spook try to get up on this rock and get a nice far shot push our limits with this 340 at level one 210 yards. Let's see what we can do with this 340. Here we go. Another shot right in the bungle. Another red stag down just like that. Dropping them like sack of taters. Are you kidding me? That looks like a male. Literally just on the edge of render. Just as we shot it walked in. I can't believe this. This should be a male. Something's going on. I can't get my spotting or anything. I can't access my inventory. Can't quit out of the game either. So, looks like we got two more rounds and we're going to go ahead and... Can I go map? No, nothing's working. Huh. Little glitch. Little hiccup. Little bug. But it looks like we got another male that over here. You know what? I can't even get spotting for him. We're going to go ahead and take him out. Maybe respawn in. Restart the lobby. And see what else we can get. So let's go ahead and take him out. Beautiful shot. That looked like a... A solid double lung. And we actually got one more bullet. And we still have our 223 to use. So let's go nice and slow because I know this is where a lot of red deer hang out. Roe deer. And some fox. Maybe we'll get to see another animal before we get to harvest these ones. And there goes our 340 leveling up to level 2. So let's go ahead and run over here and pick up our game. Alright, here's our brown bear down right here. So let's go ahead and pick another female. Double long shot at 148 meters, and this one scores 20.6. So a bigger female brown bear, but I was expecting a male for sure. And here's our other baby red stag that we got down. We got right hind leg, intestine, liver, and right lung, and this one scores 145.6. So another real young one. But before we go ahead and end the game, to restart, I'm going to take a look over this hill. We've made it this far, and there's usually some fox or maybe even some roe deer on the other side of the hill. So let's go ahead and go take a look. All right, long and behold, we found another red stag, and we only got one shot to make it count. Middle-sized red stag, so let's go ahead and take him out. Oh, oh, that never gets old. The sound, the power, the accuracy, and we almost just fell to our death of this gun is absolutely insane. If you guys don't have the 340 and you guys can get the 340 and you love hunting big game, what are you waiting for? I would personally now take this gun over. Are you kidding me? I can't get through right here over the 4570 after shooting it and just awesome firearm but let's go grab our next red stag that is down on top of this hill if we ever can get across alrighty our last bullet and our last red stag is down right here Go ahead and pick up this one. We got a double long shoulder blade, and this one scores 186.7. So, good size red stag, but we got our trophy. But, we're going to go ahead, maybe see if we can find a few more. But first, we got to go ahead and restart, and we'll restart from the other lodge. We'll see you guys there. Alright, so we're back at it, like I said, and we got two fox chilling down here by the river, and we got one coming in. And this other one, way out there, isn't even 
paying any attention, we're going to take him out. That one's down. Oh, there's three. Come on. Ah, such a small target. Come on. All right, we got two down out of ten bullets. That didn't quite work out in our favor, but we got two down. Let's go ahead and go and pick them up. All right, here's the, our second one that we hit. We actually hit it three times, twice in the left hind leg, and our third shot hit in the right lung, and this one scores 18.8, .8, a young female. So let's go ahead our other one should be down somewhere out here in the water so we're gonna have to look for him for a little bit and see what we look at that guys we got another red stag right there 100 meters out from where our fox is down we we're giving out a few calls nothing was responding and the fog just happened to clear just enough that we so that we could see and this red stag's at about a hundred meters out. Another decent little one. So we're going to try to take this one out with the iron sights. Doesn't look like he's paying any attention to our calls. No, he's paying no attention. Come on, feller. How far of a shot is that? 85 meter shot with iron sights. And a low level gun. Let's go ahead and try our luck. He is down right there. Holy cow, these iron sights are beautiful. Beautiful gun. Absolutely beautiful. Let's pick up our Red Fox. So this one's 9.8 kilograms. And we got him in the right lung at 140 meters. And this one scores 21.6. So not much bigger than our female. But let's go ahead and take a look at our Red Stag that we got with the irons. Alright, here's our Red Stag. Let's go ahead and pick him up. So 190 kilograms and this one scores 189.6 we got him in intestine liver and left lung at 85 meters with iron sights so that is an awesome way to go ahead and take out a nice size red stag to end our hunt so let's go ahead head back to our trophy lodge and hang up our wall hanger all right we're in our trusty rusty rustic trophy lodge and we have got a red deer to hang up on our wall. We are going to put this one right above the fireplace, right center of attention. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Oh, let's move him down one. There we go. This will look a lot better now. There he is. 273.9. He was two points off of being on the leaderboard. This is just an absolute giant red stag. An awesome addition to our trophy lodge and an awesome spot to hang them. Still got to get our moose up on the wall though. We got plenty of other bucks, bears, elk, reindeer. I mean, it's filling up fast. We feel, still got two spots for two more bears, a couple more spots for some more white tails, and a couple more spots for some medium size and large animals. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was an awesome hunt and an awesome trophy to harvest. So until next time, hunt safe, shoot straight, and we'll see you guys out there. Bye-bye.